Gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. I love this because I think that these are all symbolic. Gold is, it speaks of royalty, it speaks of kingship, it speaks of wealth. And Christ, he comes and he is the king of heaven coming to earth to dwell in and amongst us. And then you've got frankincense. Frankincense was one of the ingredients, one of the main ingredients, in what was used in the temple when they burned incense before God. The high priest would take it right in, even to the Holy of Holies. And so here we have Christ. He's the king of heaven, but now he's come to what? To intercede for us because incense represents the prayers of the saints we read in Revelation. And then we have myrrh. Myrrh is interesting. It was an embalming spice that they would use back then. And myrrh, what happened is you would crush it and then it would give off this really nice fragrance. You'd wrap it with a body and they went to wrap Jesus with, with myrrh at his death as well. You see myrrh at the beginning and also at the end. Because Christ will not only come to intercede for us, but to actually be crushed for us, to die for us, and then to pave the way for us. He's going to be sacrificed for us. He's the lamb of God. He's the king of heaven. He's our high priest, but he's also the lamb of God. 